Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're going to look at faces and specifically we're going to look at the three-quarter view for a face. So hopefully you guys are ready to get back to work. Um, so I prepared a couple of uh, faces here, actually just one and then the construct behind it. And let's take a look at that real quick. If you see me drawing circles I'm just warming up. That's all I'm doing. So first we'll take a look at this one here. Okay, so uh, a couple things to note about this face is um, if we take a look at it, we see that it's the three-quarter view. What this means is it's not full on. So we call this, like let's say these are the eyes and the mouth. This is a front view, front, and then we have a side view, which is here. Three-quarter view is halfway between here and here. So it's when this line moves just a tiny bit that way. That's all that that means. So now let's take a look at this construct here. So what I did is I used some basic shapes and hopefully you guys will be able to see that by looking at this we get the basic form of a face. I used a rectangle for where my chin will start or be pronounced. Uh, another rectangle here for where my nose is and I decided to have some kind of depth here so I made it 3D to show some kind of depth so it's lifting off the face and then I have this shape here this kind of a kind of like a rectangle right here it's this one let me draw it out for you guys right here um, and this is where the cheekbones will be pronounced and then we have where the forehead will be pronounced, a couple of uh, squares here for the eyes. And then I drew in some stuff for the, ne for the neck. And I drew in another rectangle pointing backwards uh, or towards the diminishing point or the vanishing point um, to show that the ear will fold back. Um, my head is no longer perfectly circular. Since we're looking at a three-quarter view, remember that our skulls, if we draw a skull on its side, we get the, the jaw and then the teeth and then whatever and then we get this. Our skull is longer than it is wide. Okay, So when we look at it from the front, we see something like this. With So it is wide but it is much longer than it is wide. So when we look at it in a three-quarter view, we don't exactly see a perfect circle. We see something between a perfect circle and a perfect oval. And then I drew in some neck features here just to show us. I knew this was going to pop up. Um, just to show us where we're supposed to go and how this person is looking um, and a couple other things is I connected from the bottom of my chin up and back to my ear that's all I'm doing here back to my ear so I try to follow this line here okay now when we actually get to drawing we'll move these lines around a little bit but this is a nice construct and if we take a look over here at our finished product here um, and this, of course, is rough, but it serves to help us really understand what we're dealing with. So now I can lay on top of this guy. Well, here's where my forehead square is. Okay, I see that. And this is where this chin is getting pronounced. And here we have my rectangle for my nose. And notice that it is lifted off a little bit. So if I draw it like that, it's lifted off a little bit. You guys can see that hopefully. And I don't worry about the mouth too much, but the chin is another thing. So if you notice here, and then I like to draw back, and I like to give my faces different shapes. So this one had a wide jaw and then up connected to my nose, uh, to my ear. And my ear, of course, is pointing backwards like that. So you guys can see that. So this means that the folds of the ear, since this is the fold that is closest to the front of the face, it goes on top of every other fold. So all that I'm doing is just preparing myself to get ready to draw some of these uh, some of these faces. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to draw two, and I'm going to try to make them quick. I really want to work a little bit faster than usual. So and the reason for that is just because I don't want this to be a, another 30-minute tutorial or something ridiculous like that. So I'm going to start with my blocks. I'm going to make some basic blocks. And then I'll add some the sketch work to it and then the inks. So let's start with the blocks. And of course, I already have my colors coordinated here. Hopefully, they're not too bright. Um, so I'm just going to draw two faces, one here and one here. So I'm going to make the blocks for both first. So first things first, I'll start with my 
with my skull shape and um, the way I do this is usually just kind of try to draw like a lazy oval and then just pinch the sides okay so this is like my oval shape and I can come in and erase this part this is the part that really doesn't doesn't affect the drawing as much so once I have that I will draw my three-quarter line just to help me and I'll just draw it in dots something like that perfect and let me draw my nose I want this guy to have kind of a long nose so I'm gonna give him a long nose and I want it to be 3d so I want to give it that 3d feeling okay I want that rectangle to pop out and immediately once I did that hey I'm gonna come in here with a bigger eraser and just start erasing some of these things that I don't need now that I know that my nose is laid down I don't need these anymore well maybe you do and if you do keep some of them so because some people might need them I will keep them there and that's okay with me now based on my skull I'm gonna draw here and this is a little bit low but that's okay um, I'm gonna draw the overhang for the forehead and uh, of course I'll shrink this and move it as time passes and then I'll draw where my cheeks will be now this guy I want him to have kind of high bony cheeks so I'll, I'll do it like that maybe a little bit more in like that and because the cheeks go out but they have to come back in I'll connect it to my forehead like that so already I can start to see here well this looks kinda nice this looks like a really basic start to a face and uh, I could draw where I want my eyes to be so something like that you could draw squares if you want I've been doing circles lately so it's really just a matter of preference and where do I want my chin well I gave this guy pointy cheeks so I guess I'll give him a kind of pointed chin so maybe something like that where the top is bigger than the bottom okay something like that and my ear is gonna be back here and I want my ear to go from where my where my uh, where my nose is so maybe right here um, down to almost where my nose ends not quite there but because of perspective we have to make the ear look a little bit smaller because this is closer to us so now I'll draw my line back here from the bottom of my chin and I want to make him very pointy so I'm gonna draw my line a little bit more upward and then up like that maybe not that exaggerated more like that and imagine the ear is back here somewhere um, in a three-quarter view it's kind of tough to see where the ear would be and of course the neck connects to the ear so we can just draw almost like a straight line down uh, this guy has kind of a thick neck that's okay something like that uh, and these are all rough lines but once we get them in you guys can see right away uh, some basic things here first and foremost I have here a very kind of chiseled look for a guy um, here's where the skull is it's kind of a nice view uh, I like this I like this a lot so okay good now let's do a totally different one and I'm gonna work with two different sketches uh, at a time here and the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want to show you guys that um, you can do this and uh, you can play with the basic shapes and it helps you with um, getting different look for your guy so I want him to be about the same size here so I'm gonna make this oval about the same size and again, I'm being really loose with my lines, and that's okay with me. Um, okay, so there's that, and here's my line again, and I'll just keep that like that. About the same here. Looks about the same. It's a bit lower, so right around there. I'll just draw a line there to help me. Um, and getting these proportions is always a little bit tough at first, but the more you do it, the easier it gets. I promise you. Trust me, I used to hate doing this, and now... It's kind of exciting because I'm getting to the point where I can I can do it, and uh, I'm not saying that I can do it well, but I can do it efficiently. I can look at it and say, all right, I know what I need to fix. I know what I can keep. Uh, I want this guy to be more squared off, so maybe more like this, maybe more squared. And of course, even though it's squared, I still have to give it inward and then outward because that's how people's faces are. Your cheekbones don't just go straight; they curve in. So no matter how square I want this to look, I need to give it that, that basic shape. Okay, and I'm going to give him a wide chin on this one. And because he has less cheekbone and a wider chin, 
I'm going to just uh, plop down the ear here, and I don't want it to be too exaggerated. Something like that. Erase this, and this, and actually that too. And let's bring this down a little bit. Good. And now let me give him a nose, and I'm going to give him a little bit of a shorter, fatter nose. So something like this. This looks good. Uh, this should be a little bit more straight. So I can do this motion. Good. Now, uh, you see here that the line for the cheekbone goes below the nose. That's okay. It's okay. Everyone's face is different. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to give this guy wide, a wide jaw. So this is going to go straight almost and then curve into the ear. So imagine the other ear is right at this point where we meet the cheekbone and the brow bend in and meet. So I'm going to give this almost like a straight down look. And then around where this line is, I'm going to bring this down a little bit more, curve it in. Something like that. So already we can see again, uh, very basic, uh, very basic, very basic shapes, but uh, using them to our advantage, using them to help us guide where we want our lines to go, help us guide what we want our guy to look like. And uh, let me give him a neck for you guys so you guys can see what I'm doing here. And I'm going to follow this skull through. Um, I should do the same for the other guy. Follow the skull through a little bit. It might tuck in behind the ear on this guy, and that's okay. Uh, it's a slightly different view. Um, I want this guy to have a little bit of a thinner neck. That's okay. Perfect. Something like that. Awesome. All right, so we have two basic shapes for our heads. They look a little bit different, and that's good. We don't want repetition in our faces. So now that they look a little bit different, well, I'm going to lower the opacity on this to about there. Hopefully you guys can still see that. And I'm going to come in again with a pencil, this time a thinner pencil. Um, and with a dark red here, and I'm going to go over it and just start drawing in my features. And uh, drawing the nose, I'm going to start with the nose. That's what I've been doing lately. Is just starting with the nose and I want this guy to have kind of like a nice chiseled look for his nose like that something like that sort of and then maybe here like a little bit of a bridge for his nose okay and I'm not gonna worry about the eyes yet and I'm not gonna I'm not drawing you know the full nose separated from it I'm not drawing in all the lines I'm starting to learn more and more that less is actually more and uh, here's going to be his, his mouth. And because it's in a three-quarter view, I tend to draw the end of this lip, but not the end of this one. And just kind of carry this down from my nose, like this laugh line. Same thing on this side. And let me try to give it more of an upward tilt there. And then here's where his chin is. And his chin is a little bit rounded. So something like this. Okay, I like this top one. I don't like the bottom one, so I'll just erase it real quick. Again, these are quick lines just to show us where what we're doing here, what we're what we're trying to do. And I'm going to give this guy big um, round eyes here, so something like this. And this separation from the nose is really critical here. It's it's where everything will fall apart at first because you'll want to draw your eye right here, closer to the nose. But if you think about it, there's the nose has to come down here, so there has to be that separation. Whereas here, the separation is turned away from us, so the eye will appear closer to the nose. And that's okay, that's just perspective playing tricks on you. It's not incorrect or anything like that. And uh, here's the, the cheeks here, and I want to draw them very chiseled, very chiseled cheeks here. And again, because of perspective, I have to really look at, okay, how would this look? And then here, carry this line back, carry this line back, and again, try to match up where the line bends, where this line meets this line. Try to match up where it would happen on this side. I try to match it up with the mouth most of the time, but sometimes you get some weird shaped heads and you really can't do that. Here, I'll draw the lobe and then the curve on the top of the nose, and then a couple of lines under it. I'm not going to get too much into detail on that. Um, and here, again, I'll just draw a few lines here. And I'm going to make his brow a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Just a little bit more curved. And here, 
something like that is quite all right with me. And let's give him some eyebrows because he's looking weird without them. And for the eyebrows on the other eye, again, I'm starting to do more and more loose lines and less and less lines that have perfect symmetry. Because uh, the more I study anatomy, the more I study how people look, the more I realize perfect symmetry in people does not really exist. So why am I focusing so much on it? Right? Okay, cool. And just round this out a little bit. Uh, you don't want it to look too lopsided. And maybe give it some lines here. Something like that. And I'll erase the purple in a little bit. But before I do that, let me just finish some of this stuff. And now let's turn off the purple real quick and take a look. And there's a nicely proportioned figure. And a couple things, now that I've erased my underlines, is I'll trace this line back a little bit and add a line back here. And then I'll bring this up a little bit and bring this part down. And just add a little bit of shadow whenever I can, just to accent that a little bit. And again, all I'm doing is making throwing down loose lines. That's all I'm doing on top of my shapes. So now we can take a look at uh, this guy over here. Now let's do this guy. So this guy has some lazier eyes, so maybe something like that. And again, this time I'm starting with the eyes, just to show you you don't have to start in any specific spot. And uh, these are very loose eyes, that's okay. It's just to give me the idea. And I want this guy to have thicker eyebrows, so I'm just going to draw them in a lot thicker. Like that. And this one's coming in too much, so I'll probably cut that a little bit. Okay, perfect. And we said we wanted this guy to have kind of a, uh, a, a bigger nose, a, a wider nose. So let's draw that in here. And uh, I'm going to give him, there's the laugh line, and here's the nostril, and here's the main bulb of the nose, the other nostril, and the laugh line. And then here I'm just going to draw like a big couple of things there. And here we go. And all that is is just to give it a little bit of shape to show that it's a little rounded at the top, because he's a very chiseled guy otherwise. And uh, I'll go back here and do the ear now. And um, again, all I'm doing here is uh, throwing down some of these basic shapes. The lobe goes in front of everything, then this overhang, and these other things are kind of in the back. Um, sort of like that. Now, we follow these laugh lines to about here, I would say. And this is where I would throw down my lip. But of course, you guys can do it a little bit differently if you want. And again, because it's tilted away, I like to draw in this lip, but not this one. And then kind of give it that wide chin that I said I wanted to give it. And here, give it kind of like, yeah, this is a nice, that's a nice shape right there. And this wide chin. Oh, perfect. Oh, I really like the way this guy's looking so far. And again, I can't go perfectly straight, but I can curve in very drastically. And here, you notice, we're getting too much curve here. And look, now that I look back, I can see too much curve there. So I'll add it's kind of like the cheek sag right here. Um, and just to show that this lip is in front of where this other part of the jaw is, I'll add the line here. It's kind of like this is the cheek line that connects the mouth, but we need the, the meat that hangs here to go in front of the jaw behind it. I hope that makes sense. Um, try to look at yourself in a mirror in a three-quarter view and you'll notice that you have your mouth and you have a little bit of meat between your mouth and the corner of your jaw and oftentimes you'll want to draw that in when you're when you're sketching because well we we can see it in the real world and um, you know I, I often say like don't go for extreme realism but you know, don't go for something ridiculous either where it doesn't look real. And uh, here I decided to lower his head. His skull was a bit massive. So here we see more of his skull. And uh, drawing his neck here. A couple of lines here for some of the, um, maybe like a throat or something like that. Awesome. Give this guy a little bit of a dent there. Okay, cool. So I've quickly here, and without adding too much detail, I'm going to add that at the end, 
come in and draw on a little bit of a of a cool character. So now let's take a look at these. These look very different. These look very different. The noses are totally different. The jaw structure is totally different. Um, everything about them, their skull shape looks a little different, the eyebrows. And that's really cool because the more unique and the more diverse you can get your stuff to look, the way better it will turn out. So now that I've done this, let's lower the opacity on these just a bit because I'm going to work in black. And I'm going to take out a pen. That's a huge pen. So uh, vector use. Is this going to be a good size for that? Uh, I think so. I think we'll be okay. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here, and I'm going to work on the inks. And again, all I'm doing here is I'm going to start with the stuff, and usually I do this. I start with the stuff that is first. So, And again, I'm going to do really loose lines for this because this is a basic tutorial, and I don't want it to consume my life trying to get it to look absolutely perfect every single time. Uh, the idea is to get you guys to... Uh, repeat this stuff to learn this stuff and to apply it to your work if it helps you if it doesn't if you watch someone else who does a way better job that's cool too you know I'm not sitting here trying to think that I know everything about everything I watch tons of people I've been watching uh, sketchy Trav. I've been watching um, uh, what's that other guy uh, Jonathan Rector a lot I've been watching Robert Marzullo um, and a couple of those guys and just watching them draw really really helps me understand like where I'm going wrong because I could see something that I, I want from each and every one of their styles they each have their own style and just by looking at different people with totally different styles I can see what I'm doing and I can see what I want out of my art and how how I'm, I can get there just by watching someone else repeat the process in a different way. And that really helps me, you know. Um, Jonathan Rector always says, uh, you know, be loose with your lines. Don't, you know, don't, don't spend too much time going into every single detail. And, um, you know, it's, it's nice to be loose with your lines because you're catching some stuff that's a little bit, you know, more fluid and more alive. And you might not be able to repeat it if you go over your art a thousand times to, to look for perfection. Um, and, you know, he's absolutely right. The more I spend time going over a piece, the more I end up not liking the piece because I've gone over it so many times. And uh, it's it's just the truth. It, it, it's the truth for me, and, and I don't know if it's the truth for you. Um, so um, here I'm, all I'm doing is just, you know, using my, my rough sketch as a guide but not again, not not committing to it 100%. I'm gonna change some of these lines. I didn't like that. Two square, perfect. And uh, using this as a guide. And um, yeah, and uh, Robert Marzullo he often talks about um, just thinking about the way that the skin folds and thinking about the way light will hit the will hit the skin. And uh, how that affects, you know, how that affects how you should be drawing, and and uh, it's true, it, it really is. It's just a matter of, you know, what what do I want out of my drawing, and how do I get it? Um, so so far, I kind of like the way this guy's looking. He looks kind of cool. I'm gonna thin out his neck a little bit because it looked a bit too thick, to be quite honest with you. And I'm gonna bring these lines up a little bit, uh, something like that. That should be a little bit lower. And now let me do the skull. This guy has a lot of skull showing. Actually, no, he doesn't. He has very little. But I'm not going to do it in one take. I'm just going to slowly eke it out. There we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. So this guy's uh, basically done here. I don't think I'm missing anything too drastic. I could add more lines and more you know, detail. I'm not going to. And... Uh, you know, I've been watching a lot of, uh, I don't know if you guys know who Kenneth Rockef Rocka Rockefort? Rockefort is. He's the guy who does the drawings for um, action comics and uh, ac action DC comics, the ones with Superman and, you know, sometimes Batman and all that. Um, oh, man, his style is so cool. I, I just, I'm totally into that. He has very, like, his inks... 
and the way he does his uh his final pieces is so sketchy and so loose and it looks so vivid um i'm a big batman fan so i read a lot of like you know the batman comics and and all that stuff and it's great i love greg capullo he's he's amazing but his style is so different than uh from kenneth rockefort and i to be quite honest i've never seen a style like that before never not once and that's something because i you know i'm not saying i read a huge amount of comic books but i'm not a noob and uh i definitely know a lot of the artists um you know a lot of the styles of the artists in the scene and uh how oh, man his style is so vivid and the way it's inked the way it's all drawn and it just comes together so beautifully it's it's amazing it it genuinely blows me away it just it it genuinely does i'm not even trying to go read it go go look at his stuff he has a facebook page um not sure how to pronounce the name of the facebook page it's mitographia mitographia something like that where he does like a sketch a day or something and oh man i i just go in there and i just stare because it's so good so good all right here i wanted more bushy eyebrows so i'm going to draw very loose lines something like this and i'll draw here and then very loose lines going back and again here good and i don't like the way that brow looked it's a bit too a bit too bulbous like someone punched him in the brow um i'm gonna add a line there just to help define that that feature of the face okay and i just add a few lines for the nose there um love the way this guy's uh, neck is and his overall physique looks this needs to be a little bit lower and a little bit more parallel that can't go up i said it can't go up and then i keep drawing it going up okay something like that and now let's draw in the skull Whoop, that's okay i'll keep the line kind of gives him like an older look kind of wrinkly kind of cool that's my heater if you guys are wondering what that creepy noise is it's not insidious watch that movie it was terrible all right i think we're done i think uh we made it guys so let's take a look here um let's look at the final products here so we've drawn two faces at a three-quarter view and they look fairly good if i go in and i shade these and i really clean up these lines it'll look really awesome um, but as is, I really dig the way they look. Um, very fluid, very you know easy to get into. I can see where my mistakes are, and I I know I've made mistakes on both of these. Um, this is a mistake. This is a mistake, and this is a mistake that I'm seeing just off the bat. Also, I can clean up the ears a lot. There's plenty of mistakes that I've made, but. The good thing is I can see the mistakes and I know how to fix them and I can keep improving and that's really important. So let's go through the process real quick here. I started with uh, these basic shapes for both using basic rectangles, uh, lifting them off the face using some 3D circles or squares, whatever floats your boat. Uh, again, rectangles, rectangles, uh, weirdly shaped rectangles for different shapes of cheeks and chins. Um, and then I connect the jaw from here, go out, and then try to connect it to the bottom of the ear. Same here. From the bottom of the chin, out some ways, and then try to connect it to the bottom of the ear. And there's no real rule here. This is just a matter of, you know, what kind of person you want to draw. And then the, the neck connected to the ear, so I know that this ear will be where the joint is. So I try to draw the neckline connecting there. Uh, the skulls was a bit much. So I lowered it when I did this this part. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down there, buddy. Calm down. Okay, cool. That's awesome. All right. So when I got to this part, I just overlaid everything and went in and added some rough details to everything. Looked really cool. Love the way this guy looks. This guy is okay. And lastly, just came in and cleaned it with some line work, and boom, we're done. Now, I didn't add hair because I don't want to go into hair too much. I'll probably be doing something like that coming up. So hopefully this, uh, you guys enjoyed this and this will hold you over. I probably won't do one again next week just because Christmas is coming up and i got to go shopping. 
So Merry Christmas to everybody. Hope you guys have fun, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.